Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we bring you the most chilling and terrifying stories. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Buckle up because today's story is sure to send shivers down your spine. Dim the lights, grab a blanket, and get ready for the haunting of Shadow Hill. Once upon a time, in a small, sleepy town, there stood a beautiful old Victorian mansion on top of a hill known as Shadow Hill. The house had been vacant for years, as rumors of its haunted past deterred potential buyers. The townspeople often whispered about strange occurrences and eerie sightings, but as the legend goes, the most terrifying events happened to those who dared to stay overnight. Our story follows a brave teenage girl named Emma. Emma was a responsible and reliable 17-year-old who was popular among the families in the town as a trusted babysitter. One evening, a wealthy couple, the Johnsons, reached out to Emma for her services. They had recently purchased the mansion on Shadow Hill, dismissing the rumors as nothing more than local folklore. They needed Emma to look after their two young children, Lily and Max, while they attended a charity event in town, Emma hesitated, but the generous pay the Johnsons offered was too tempting to resist. As the sun set, she arrived at the grand mansion, armed with her overnight bag and a brave heart. The Johnsons, dressed in their finest attire, thanked Emma for her help and assured her that the children were already asleep in their rooms. They wished her a pleasant evening and departed. Emma explored the mansion, admiring the lavish furniture and beautiful paintings. She decided to settle in the living room, popping in a movie and curling up on the plush sofa. But as the night grew darker, the house began to reveal its secrets. At first, it was subtle. The creaking of the floorboards, the rustling of the curtains, and distant whispers that seemed to come from nowhere. Emma dismissed them as products of her overactive imagination, fueled by the haunted tales she had heard about Shadow Hill. But as the minutes ticked by, the strange occurrences intensified. Objects moved seemingly on their own, and Emma could swear she felt a cold breath on her neck. She decided to check on Lily and Max, hoping that their innocent slumber would ease her growing anxiety. Upon entering the children's room, she found Lily and Max wide awake, huddled together in fear. They told her they heard voices and had seen shadowy figures lurking in the corners of their room. Emma's heart raced, but she tried to remain calm for the children's sake. She convinced them it was just a bad dream and tucked them back into bed, promising to stay close by. Returning to the living room, Emma's fear turned to dread as she heard footsteps echoing throughout the mansion. She grabbed a flashlight, determined to confront whatever or whoever was causing the disturbances. As she ventured through the dimly lit hallways, she noticed the portraits on the wall seemed to be watching her every move. She could feel a malevolent presence growing stronger. In the study, Emma discovered a dusty, leather-bound journal. The entries belonged to the previous owner, a man named Edward Blackwood. The journal revealed the dark truth about Shadow Hill. Edward had dabbled in the occult, opening a doorway to the spirit world that he could never close. The house was indeed haunted, filled with restless spirits and malicious entities. Emma realized she had to protect Lily and Max from the unseen forces that threatened their safety. She raced back to the children's room, only to find the door wide open and the room empty. Panic set in as she frantically searched the house, calling out their names. The eerie whispers had turned into sinister laughter, and the once beautiful mansion now seemed like a labyrinth of terror. As Emma stumbled into the once grand ballroom, she found Lily and Max huddled in the corner, shaking in fear. Shadowy figures danced around them, taunting and jeering as the children sobbed. Emma's heart pounded in her chest, but she knew she had to be strong for the children. 
Drawing upon her courage, she recalled a passage from Edward's journal about banishing the spirits. She stood tall, gripping the children's hands tightly, and recited the incantation with unwavering determination. The air grew thick, and the laughter of the spirits turned into anguished screams. The room filled with a blinding light, forcing Emma to shield her eyes. When the light dissipated, the spirits were gone, and an eerie silence enveloped Shadow Hill. Emma quickly gathered Lily and Max, and they fled the mansion. They waited outside, huddled together until the Johnsons returned, their fancy clothes and smiling faces, a stark contrast to the terror that had unfolded within the house. Emma vowed never to set foot in Shadow Hill again, and the Johnsons, now believing the chilling rumors, decided to leave as well. In the years that followed, the mansion on Shadow Hill remained vacant, a chilling reminder of the supernatural horrors that lay within its walls. As for Emma, she continued to be a beloved babysitter in the town, but she never forgot the terrifying night at the haunted mansion. And that, my friends, was The Haunting of Shadow Hill. We hope you enjoyed this spine-tingling tale. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more scary stories. Have you ever experienced something paranormal? Share your spooky experiences in the comments below. Until next time, sleep tight and Remember, there's always something lurking in the shadows.